Hello, my name is Ethan, and I'm with RJ Media. Here I am today with Imtiaz Stefan. Correct. 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 So, um, you're a security guard here at Regis, yes. if I'm correct. Yes. Um, when did you start working here? Uh, September of 2016, last year. All right. Um, so, could you talk me through your day-to-day schedule? Like, what do you do when you get here and during the day? Uh, first thing when we get here, we go out and put out signs, cones and signs. We'll do that. And then at uh, 7.30, we head down to the bus loop area and down onto Lewiston and direct traffic into the school, making it easier for people to get in, uh, get in and out. Mm-hmm. So what do you do um, during the day? During the day, uh, we go around the school grounds um, Check for anybody that might be that doesn't belong here. Contact them. Uh, during the day, we'll also look at things and conduct threat assessments according to that. So we'll try to look for weaknesses in the school uh, and then try to correct some of those, whether it be physical or just behavioral. Um, for an example, If somebody is just knocking at one of the back doors, boys' division, girls' division, they shouldn't just open up the door and let them in without identifying who they are. And so we try to teach those behaviors. Uh, We transport kids to their cars, sometimes down to the FCC lot. Uh, If they have to leave school early and they've got an appointment, we'll do help out with that. Um, let's see, we look for basically anything that could be suspicious that could wind up harming the kids. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you've got a pretty busy job then. Yes. Got a lot to take care of. Yes. Um, is there any reason in particular you decided to work here over all the other organizations where you could, or schools, where you could be a security guard? Well, um, there, there were just two things. One, the opportunity came up. You know, uh, they needed a position, uh, and they reached out to my brother, who's done some work here as well. Uh, So my previous background is law enforcement. Uh, I did 15 years of that, and I worked as a school resource officer for three years. And then I went over to Afghanistan and worked there for five years, training police, running camps, uh, doing executive protection, counter-surveillance on Taliban, all a uh, array of different things over there. And it really brought my skill level up. And uh, so I decided to take this opportunity here because I needed to stay home uh, to take care of family. My mom's elderly, so I needed to be home. And it gives me a good opportunity to protect kids. And the school is now going through a transition where they're looking at some options uh, for protecting the kids. Wow. Um, that's awesome how you worked over in Iraq. And Yeah, I, I've done Iraq. I've done Afghanistan and a couple of other places. So was that um, government work over yes. there? Okay. For mostly for one Department of State contract and all the rest were Department of Defense. Okay. Um, what values are the most important for a security guard here at Regis, would you say? No, I think, I think uh, in either law enforcement or security, you just have to have integrity. You know, and you have to be caring, calm, and focused on the job. And um, you can't be scared to make an ultimate sacrifice uh, in defense of innocent people. All right. Um, What is the most interesting situation you've ever had in your time here or that's come around? I mean, you haven't been here very long, but, (laughs) or in your whole career, you know, what's the most? um, Well, I would say one thing, and I think this is very important, is that uh, the student body at Regis is pretty incredible. You know, they they don't uh, present some of the problems that I've had to deal with in other school environments. 
um, which I'm very grateful for that. It makes it easier for me to concentrate on my job of uh, looking at how I can improve security versus dealing with kids that cause problems all the time. So at this school, it, it's pretty even pace. There's, there's really not that much excitement. I like the fact that I get to uh, work with the kids, get to know them, talk to them. I, I do like that. And uh, another area where I can help out is in traffic. I've got extensive background in traffic instruction, driving safety, being a police officer. And so when I see bad driving behaviors, I can just help correct those because, again, cars are very dangerous and uh, people lose their lives in cars. Mm -hmm. Um. Just one more question. Uh, what is your opinion on the issue of security guards carrying weapons or firearms or not? What is your position on that? I am absolutely in favor of it. Um, a gun is just a tool. Uh, and it works in the hands of the person that knows how to use it correctly. Unfortunately, there are some people that use that in a wrong way and want to inflict massive amount of harm. And to render that, you have to have an equal amount of force. That is, my favorite saying is the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And so one of the things that I felt that Regis has been lacking is the ability to protect their children and their students in a safe manner. It is very well said that, you know, when, when a parent drops off their child at a school, they're expecting the school to protect them 100%. They're turning over that responsibility for that time. That's actually written in law that they have to protect them. Though Regis kind of seems off the beaten path, we have had some massive amounts of violence very close to here. One was in the theater uh, that's right next door to us. And so do I think it's one of the students that might commit harm? No. You know, there, the percentage on that to me is so small. But do I think that it might be somebody from the outside world that wants to come in and make either a religious or political statement and go into an arena where there is no defense against them? and inflict the most amount of harm, that I do there, think there's a high po probability or possibility for that. And so when that day comes, I want to be prepared for it. Mentally, I'm prepared for it. Physically, I'm prepared for it. I've done this 15 years again as a police officer, five years in Afghanistan and combat zone constantly. Uh, Obviously, I must have some level of skill to be able to survive that for all this time. And I have developed a lot of skills, and uh, it would be the greatest honor to be able to protect these kids uh, that go to this school. I've, you, you get to know them. You become attached to them. Uh, you believe you share stories. You want to see them progress in their life. I don't want anybody to be an innocent victim because some knucklehead is upset over something and decides to make his statement here. Yep. On the topic of um, improving security, is there anything else besides firearms that you think could be done to improve security here? Uh, more personnel. We have 65-acre complex, three separate buildings, and generally we run two security guards uh, or security personnel uh, during the day, and then one comes in in the evening, runs the after-school events. And uh, I don't think that it's going to be such a big concept because, I mean, for dances, for football games, for events, they do hire police officers to come into this place. So I don't think that's an issue. Now we just got to be able to protect our kids all the time. The first responder and best responder is the one that's right in the building. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You're this welcome. Is great. <laughs>